wart roots. Uh, got it. Sneezing pig's breath. Got us. Rowan, have I ever told you what a fine apprentice you are? I know, Carl. There is a very good reason for that. Well, Carl. Well, everything seems to be in order. The only thing missing is the healing herb. I sent Angus to the Blackwater Valley to gather some. Was that a good idea to send Angus? Hmm. No. You'd better go find him. Angus! <laughs> <laughs> well, my friend, didn't I tell you not to anger Deirdre? <laughs> it wasn't Deirdre, it was some stranger. So only one man did this to you. No one. <laughs> can you untie me, please? If I had met this stranger, you can be sure that he would be the one tied to the tree. Is that right? <laughs> tied me here! So you'd like to see me tied to the tree like your careless friend? Well, I'm just the man to do it. Don't be so sure. Rowan, if you untie me, I can help you. <laughs> that won't be necessary. No swords. I'll best you with any weapon you choose. Stop. <laughs> I hear your words. Now let's see some action. <laughs> You're gonna have to do better than that, my good fellow. You make a habit of attacking people you don't know. Only when attacked first. You're not my enemy. So I'll go easy. Then let's begin. I'm sure you're really trying. No one flip the plate around. I hope you swim better than you fight. Demonstrate that one more time, please. Especially the part where you land in the water. How can I describe him? Oh, yeah, he was huge, like an ogre. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, and he was ugly. Boy, was he ugly. I don't know where that stranger came from, but if I ever see his face again, I'll... Well, what happened to him? Well, let's just say, when we were finished with them, he was glad to leave. Mm -hmm. A visitor should have more respect for a kingdom's people. Announcing His Majesty King Conaher. My loyal subjects, I bring news of a new alliance to be sealed with a royal marriage. It is with great pride and pleasure that I announce the betrothal of Prince Garrett of the Allied Kingdom of Regged to my daughter, Deirdre. <laughs> How can you agree to something like this without even telling me? Have I no say in who or when I marry? I'm sorry, Deirdre, but this union was arranged at the time of your birth. Garrett's father and I both gave our word, and it will be honored. Your father is right, Deirdre. It cannot be changed now. I can't believe what I'm here. Deirdre doesn't even know this prince. Such arrangements are common between royal families. Isn't it wonderful? Now you don't have to worry about Deirdre spending all her time with you. I wonder when the wedding day will be. Soon, I hope. 
would make Kells invincible. Perhaps a preemptive strike is in order? Yes. But a very precise strike. We must eliminate this Prince Garrett. Go. Find out what you can about him. Mida. Dark fairy of the Schleeves. I don't know if you are worried about this Prince Garrett. A creature must be summoned to destroy him. Hold your runestone to the light and call out the prince's name. Garrett! Prince of Reggett! Prince Garrett and the Mystic Knights. It is my great honor to present Deirdre's betrothed, Prince Garrett of Reggae. So much for happily ever after. King Conaher, my father sends his best wishes. We thank you. Prince Garrett, welcome. And the people were not only looking for a prince who excelled in battle, but one with a handsome profile and a wit as sharp and as fast as his sword. So naturally they chose me. Naturally. So did you battle the lion? Wasn't much of a battle, really. I have a gift with animals. I merely look into a creature's eyes and have them totally under my control. Tell me, Prince Garrett, do you ever tire of talking about yourself? Deirdre. You know, I haven't seen you since you were a baby. I wonder if this baby prince has always been this boring. And you've grown into a fine young man, one I shall be proud to call son. Toast of the finest nectar to Garrett. Hear, hear. This marriage will be of great benefit both to Garrett's kingdom and to Kells. A marriage of kingdoms. How romantic. Ah, uh, there's romance in this marriage. Garrett's in love with himself. <laughs> <laughs> Does something amuse you? You weren't laughing when I bested you earlier today. Why, oh. you... Garrett is a royal guest, and we must treat him as befits a prince. Prince Garrett, are you aware that Ivor is also a prince? From a kingdom much larger and richer than yours. And he's a scholar as well. Oh, really? Well, I happen to think my warrior skills are more important than my royal blood and the size of my land. Oh, ho, ho. here we go again. I'll have you know. I always led my people in battle, and I am the finest swordsman in my kingdom. Ivor has seen many battles here in Kells as a mystic knight. I've defeated two mystic knights before my second meal. You look no more a challenge. I've had enough of you, Garrett. No. I'll quiet this royal pain. I'll need your sword. Good man. Ivor, Garrett, my throne room is not a battlefield. This won't be a battle. Just a quick lesson in humility. You're the one who shall be humbled. Now this should be good sport. Come on, Ivor. Teach him a lesson. <laughs> you can do it, Ivor. <laughs> Finish 
Shivaiva. Stop them! I will not permit this to go any further. Well done, Prince Garrett. You held up well. Thank you for breaking my fall, Angus. Okay. Oh. 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 My knee! I am not impressed by this display. Rowan, Angus, take Ivor to Card's chamber. Go ahead, see to his knee. The rest of you may now leave. Deirdre and Garrett, you two shall remain here and discuss your differences. Father, how can you ask me to marry this braggart? Deirdre, for a princess, arranged marriages are an unfortunate necessity. Does what I want not count for anything? My daughter, I know of an arranged marriage that lasted for many, many happy years. Initially, the princess felt as you do. But in time, she grew to know the prince and to love him. How do you know the princess really loved him? Because your mother told me that she loved me every day. Try. <laughs> that mangy dog pushed me off the table. Oh, come, come, Ivor. I'm sure it was an accident. Ah, that was the most purposeful accident I've ever seen. Rowan, turn around and look at me. Deirdre, I don't understand why you're so against this marriage. There are thousands of women in my kingdom who'd be thrilled to marry me. And I'd be thrilled for them to marry you, too. What is it exactly that you don't like about me? Huh. Where do I start? I'm handsome, intelligent... Arrogant, boastful... Strong. Tell me more. I know what it is. You prefer Rowan, don't you? Ah. Uh... Well, to be honest, Rowan is... Angus, where are my healing herbs? Uh, your healing herbs? Yes. I sent you to the Blackwater Valley this morning to collect them. Where are they? Um, Angus? Angus? He needs them to tend my knee. Uh, your knee? Yeah. Healing herbs. Uh, they are um, over, over at Rowan's hut. Ah. Huh? Yeah. Come on, Rowan. Let's go get the healing herbs for Kahat. All right. Maybe when we get back, Deirdre will have Garrett bound to a tree. Now, Angus, tell me again why I'm out here. Didn't Kahat send you for the herbs? And wasn't it you who forgot about it the first time? That old druid works me too hard. It's always Angus this, Angus that. I should be the one giving the orders, not him. I mean, yes. every... Did you hear it? Whoa! Whoa! Blue! Oh. Angus! Uh, uh, uh. This is slow, I'm dying. Let me have a crack at him. Bad. I don't like that look he just gave us. Better call for our armor. Fire within me. Earth beneath me. Look, Ron. He's given us that evil eye again. We need reinforcements. Yes, Ivar and Deirdre, and we'd best make haste. Let's get out of here. I don't know why he has to be here. Tell Prince Garrett that Card suggested you rest your knee and that the bench you're sitting on is exactly the right height. Deirdre said that Cahad told me to rest my knee. I can hear her. 
Is there no privacy in camp? Deirdre, Ivar, we need your help. A huge creature attacked us in the valley. Yeah, this huge, flapping, creaturey looking thing with horns. Anyway, we sure could use a hand. Lead us to the beast. Let's go. What about your knee? You need me. I can fight with one leg. This creature is fiercely strong and shoots fire from his horns. It takes four of you to fight one little creature. You'd be advised to keep quiet. This is a matter for the Mystic Knights. I've handled many a creature alone. As I may have mentioned, I have this ability to subdue wild animals with mere eye contact. In case you weren't listening, this creature shoots fire. I think you might just be afraid I'll show you up. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you had enough? I think we should let this braggart handle that creature alone. Teach him a lesson. Yeah. Then he'd go home all humiliated with his royal tail between his legs. And without Deirdre. But we should be there just to make sure he doesn't get injured too badly. Then it's agreed. Now then, Prince, I can beat everyone. We've decided to allow you handle this creature alone. Lead the way. where we fought the creature. Don't you mean this is where you ran from the creature? Well, we ran for reinforcements, Jim. Well, here I am. Where's the creature? <laughs> it's a lot bigger than you described. I see why you came back for us, Ron. Put that away. I said I'd handle the creature myself. Now we get a chance to see Garrett run. Look into my eyes, you ugly beast! You will obey my orders. What is he doing? He has the creature in a trance. Go back from where you came and never return to the kingdom of Kells. Now! That was absolutely fantastic. I've never seen anything like that before. It was an easy victory. Almost as easy as defeating the two of you. Now I remember why I don't like you. Why must you always be so boastful? You mistake honesty with being boastful. Well, then your honesty is completely intolerable. We don't want you here in Kells. And that goes for all of us. I don't have to stay here and be humiliated by the likes of you. I'm going back to my own kingdom, where we understand the meaning of the word hospitality. Oh, yeah? Well, good riddance to you. <laughs> Today we got rid of two creatures. <laughs> the creature destroyed no one. Those blasted mystic knights. It wasn't the mystic knights. The creature fled on the command of Garrett. On his command? Garrett must have tapped into some strong magic. Perhaps I've approached this in the wrong way. Instead of fighting against Garrett, maybe I should get him to fight with us. And how shall we achieve this, my queen? That, indeed, is the question.